Gamers, gamers, gamers. Gamers, gamers, gamers. Gaming I am, yes. So we're going to do Nahida story quest. Um, I'm probably going to build Nahida as well. Um, actually, we might start by killing a hypostasis. Unfortunately, I already started the quest because I teleported to Sumeru after unlocking the quest. So, uh, yeah, I won't have the beginning on the stream, but that's okay. It's just this guy. He's all like, oh, yeah, you got to come to this place. I'm like, okay, I'll come to this place. I guess. Lol. Light. I was born in the lightness. Uh, ingenuity. Light. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. We should be able to convert those though with like the dust of Azoth. But you know, whatever. That's just my opinion. I think I have a couple perma banner poles. Alright. I think we're due for a four star. Maybe not. Okay. Four star. And it's gonna be Kale. Although I don't really know if I need Kale anymore. Very good four star. Like I would be happy if I didn't already ever see six. <laughs> God damn it. We out here losing. We out here losing gamers. Okay, so anyway, this team's really good for uh, killing the Dendro Oculus. So, Dendro Oculus? No, not Dendro Oculus. Add Astra. <laughs> I just called the Dendro Hypostasis the Dendro Oculus. God, dude. Long day at work. Just saying, when you work at a convenience store and lottery gets to above a billion dollars, shit gets a little crazy. Just a little. It's a banger. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. Judge me if you wish. But, uh, I'm gonna cat jam if I wanna cat jam. Um, okay. Let's go kill. Let's go kill hypostasis. Hypostasis? Damn, loud vehicle nearby. A vehicle. But seriously, like this team right here. Actually, I feel like Kazu was kind of, kind of not the best in this team comp here because, like, he can't really swirl Electro. But. I think he can still give EM or elemental damage bonus, I mean. I'm not sure. But I just use Kitching and uh and Traveler. With Sword kind of delivered. The hell, man. Then we'll just do this. Slaughter Traveler. We got like that. We got like that. We subtract the Traveler. We do that. We do that. And we're good. We're done. We've won. GG. No re. The easiest clap in all the rooms. <laughs> Whatever that means. Okay, Nahida, I think I can level you up again, maybe? Possibly? Opium? Okay, I need to make Dendro Crystals. 
And I need to get more of this shit. Crystalline cyst dust. Okay. And no, we can't. We need freaking a lot more of those. <laughs> oh, farming a boss that doesn't come out until the character comes out. Thanks, Hoyoverse. Uh, the sun is out. Our work's done for the day. Shall we take a stroll? Thanks, Hoyoverse. I do appreciate it. A lot. Uh, do, do, do. Honestly, at her current level, she still might actually be really good. And then I need those. Okay. Dendra really likes likes levels though. Like really likes levels. Yeah, so now we just need the de the dendro cube. Mine dendro Minecraft. Just kidding. Okay. The dream of awakening. Interrupt everyone. We finally have some real dream experts joining us. Who experts? Esteemed experts. This way, please. <clears throat> now, if anyone has any At the question, dream stands. please feel free to ask them. They must be dream experts from another land. Great. Oh, oh no. I have a question. Me first. Me first. No rush. Everyone, please line up and ask in an orderly fashion. After some initial commotion, everyone finally forms a queue. Wow. Oh my god. Byron didn't expect them to be so enthusiastic. Well, it's the first time they've dreamed my question since is they were kids. My everyday life is very difficult, so I would like to become a slime in my dreams. How can I do that? Why would you want to become a slime? Oh, that's a tough one. Oh! Paimon's had this kind of dream before, so... <laughs> Paimon became a slime in a dream. The first time, she was reincarnated Paimon as a slime. became an animal slime. Paimon was shot by an adventurer's arrow and flew in the sky all night long. The second time, Paimon became a dendro slime. A group of kids thought Paimon was a radish and pulled out all the grass on her head. Oh, it was super painful. Ooh. The third time, Paimon became a cryo slime. In the end, Paimon was captured by a chef and turned into a smoothie. Oh, Monka and the third S. Time, Paimon became a powerful geo slime and went to take revenge on the forest boar that used to bully Paimon. There was a forest boar that used to bully you? The boar showed up with all of its relatives and Paimon lost again. <laughs> Bruh. Wait, why did all of your dreams end so tragically? Is Paimon's life going to end tragically? Game, even though they look cute, they usually cause trouble and end up getting killed by adventurers. Oof. Things don't tend to end well for monsters. Believe Paimon. I want to interrupt, but at least she's grasped the standard tropes of adventurer stories. I suppose you're right. They are monsters, after all. I just want to experience a different life, but it seems that becoming a monster would be even worse than my current life. Hmm. Maybe I'd be happier if I became just a regular finch. Or fish. Looks like being an expert is way easier than Paimon imagined. Next! <laughs> Paimon smug. Oh, it's my turn. <sighs> Esteemed expert. I want to know what posture I should sleep in so I can have the same dream as the one I had last night. I don't think it works uh... that way. Yes, please enlighten us, esteemed expert. <laughs> hey, you're supposed to be helping. Um, first, why don't you tell Paimon about the dream you want to have again? <laughs> oh, it's quite ordinary. I sat and chatted with my wife on a sunny day, listening to the breeze blowing through the valley. Bro, I don't want to get depressing or anything, but I once had this dream that... I was like genuinely happy in, and like, 
everything just it, it it was like it was beautiful okay and then i woke up and reality hit and it made me so sad like it made me so sad oh my god hi charlie <laughs> you just find your wife and talk with her there's no need to wait for a dream well uh unfortunately she passed away Oof! So this this guy's the Whoa. same way dog shouldn't have assumed anything. No, it's fine. I didn't make that clear. I just want a chance to see her again. Have you tried looking at her photos right before you fall asleep? Yeah, it's not really about posture. What you think about right before falling asleep is probably way more important. Oh, is that all I have to do? Think about it. If you're the one thinking about her, and you're the one that'll be dreaming about her, then it'll be easier to connect your thoughts and dreams. You do have a point. I'll give it a try tonight. Thanks for your wise advice. Oh, my turn, my turn. Hum. I want to know the name of the plant in my dream. <laughs> I want to bring the souvenir box to my room into my dream. I oh dreamt of God. a raven flying over the wasteland last night. Does that have any kind of special meaning? Hey, no rush! One at a time! You guys really set yourself up for failure. After a long time, the experts finally what? That cut uh, really fast. Their questions were way too difficult. We don't actually know anything more than they do. We're just more experienced dreamers, that's all. They didn't really care about the answers. You do have a point. It's more rewarding to explore and contemplate the meaning of a question than to focus on the answer itself. Right now, these people are like wanderers who've starved for three days and three nights and are desperate to replenish their energy. Any explanation they get now is like pure sustenance to them, no matter how good the explanation really is. Sounds like drugs. Oh, and now that Paimon has said that, you know who comes to mind? Nahida. Bingo! If she was here, she'd probably be making some similar analogy. Unfortunately, she's super busy right now and may not have time for gatherings like this. Let's go find her. <laughs> Dear experts, we have another guest who would like to consult you. Uh, but you saw how we answered all the questions just now. We're not really all that knowledgeable. Ah, but this guest is rather... Special. Watch it be Nahida. Oh, no way! Who could have guessed? Almost like it's her story quest. My question is, why didn't you immediately tell me about such an interesting place? Huh? Nahida? How did you get here? I mean, it is her city. Interesting events like a moment of dreams don't happen every day after all. No matter how busy things are, I'd still set aside some time to check it out. Anyway, I really didn't expect to meet you here. Oh, right! If there's anyone that understands dreams, it's you! You should be able to help us answer all these questions. You're not wrong. Alright, they can ask me anything. The more interesting, the better. <laughs> Uh, uh. Huh? What's wrong? You were all so excited a minute ago. Why the sudden hesitation? I think they need to build up some courage first. Even you so, are a god. It's not like I look super intimidating or anything, right? No, and in but terms you are of a god. And renown, you've also done many great things in Sumeru, yet they didn't even flinch at you. Still not quite the uh, the same as approaching an Archon. Alas, the interesting questions have all vanished in an instant. Oof. It appears I'm the one spoiling the fun here. I'll see myself out. Oh, that's not true, Nahida. So I don't want to get in the way of the original purpose of a moment of dreams, which is to let people gather here and freely share their marvelous dreams. Now the atmosphere here is like water poured into a container. The water is more secure and settled, but it has lost its free-flowing nature from the river. I just want it to be another drop in the water. That's a kind of crazy analogy, actually. 
Is she doing what I think she is? She's sulking. Um, hey! It's alright, everyone! No need to be shy. The Dendro Archon is really nice, so please just go ahead and ask. Otherwise, she'll leave. Why'd you have to add that last part? Uh, all right. Come on. I'll give it a try. Oh, it's the slime guy. <laughs> the slime guy. Hey, drop the nicknames, would you? <laughs> Besides, I don't want to become a slime anymore. Maybe a finch or fish is more suitable for me. I see. So you want to become a small animal in your dreams, right? Why do you think that sounds good to you? I guess I just want to experience something different. My everyday life is nothing but the same. I feel that. The sky is right above me and the ocean just same over shit, the horizon. Day. Yet I remain caged in a life of monotony. So you want to experience something new in your dreams. Mm, sorry, I'm getting a little confused. Why don't you seek out some new experiences in real life? <sighs> because if I don't work, I won't have any mora. Sure, I don't want to be out hammering nails and cutting wood every day, but I have aging parents and young children to take care of. Reality. By the time this all dawned on me, I realized that my life has already been filled to the brim by trifling matters, and I have no more freedom. But if that's the case, then even if you became a flying bird or swimming fish, you will still be hammering nails and cutting wood in your dreams. The reason is you've already been caged. It doesn't matter what your physical body turns into, your mind will still be stuck in the same predicament. Really? That sounds pretty terrible. Then what should I do? I don't know everything that you're going through, but how about replacing your hammer? Huh? Replacing my hammer? <laughs> that sounds like a quote Having from, a, such a, long time, from a treasure hoarder. You of all people must know what makes a good hammer. Well, or maybe it's a Fatui or an Arbiter. A good Fatui hammer Fatui needs to be heavy remember. enough to drive the nail in with just a couple taps. And the handle has to have a good grip to it, not too smooth. Come to think of it, I haven't replaced my current hammer in quite some time. You should replace it. Then decorate the handle with something you like. Maybe some ornaments? Fur or hard leather wrapping. Then write the names of your children on it. <sighs> it's kind of wholesome. That makes sense. I think it'd give me a good boost of energy at work. And Let's go, Nahida. A new adventure often begins with the little things in life. So true. You don't need to become a bird in the air or a fish in the sea. You only need to do your best in life, and all those things you cherish will become your source of happiness. Yes. Yes, I get it now. This is a real eye-opener for me. I'll go and pick Nahida out a new hammer therapist. right away. No, I should make one of my own. Make Thank one. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. That's our Nahida. Only you would know how to get right to the heart of the problem. Actually, I didn't really understand the problem. <laughs> huh? I gave him that advice because I once saw a worker doing the same thing. Whenever he became tired, he would look at some names on the handle of his tool. After a moment, he'd start to smile. It really surprised me at the time. My guess is that the names on the handle were of important people to him. I think I understand. Mm -hmm. After observation, I know this kind of behavior motivates people. But why is that? Is it because of excitement, anticipation? Or helplessness. I really don't know. And even if I could know what's going through his mind, it's still difficult to fully grasp his feelings. Oh, Paimon gets what you mean. Huh. Paimon had no idea it takes you so much effort to understand these kinds of things. <laughs> That's why I was a bit nervous just now. But luckily, seeing his happy face in the end reassured me that I didn't say anything wrong. Don't mind me, though. This is just my way of learning. I'm happy to help if you ever need it. Hey! Don't forget about Paimon! Everyone knows that Paimon's also super skilled at reading people's feelings. 
Thanks, you two. That makes me feel a lot better. I don't know about that one, Paimon. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? I already asked the experts my question earlier, but I wanted to hear the Dendro Archon's response too. What should I do if I want to see my deceased wife in my dreams every night? Hmm, longing for the deceased. Do you remember something about Greater Laruka Devada? No. <laughs> no, she shouldn't be able to remember anymore. Even if you keep reliving those beautiful memories, it will only highlight the emptiness in your real life. If your wife were still alive, she certainly wouldn't want to see you like this, would she? No. I suppose not. But our time together in my dreams is not just reliving our past together. I don't know. Maybe it's because I miss her too much. But it's really as if she had come back to life in my dreams. She even remembers each and every dream. After I wake up and then continue dreaming again later, we can pick up our conversation right where we last left off. That's really amazing. Statistically speaking, continuous dreams are extremely rare. It's almost as if my wife has obtained a second life in my dreams. But the more vivid she appears, the emptier I feel and the more painful her it point. is when I wake up. I don't know whether to call it a blessing or a curse. Maybe all of this is rooted in your deep longing for her. Were there any unresolved matters or regrets between the two of you? I don't know. I suppose my biggest regret is that I couldn't spend the rest of my life with her. I really felt like I was ready to move on. I wouldn't be so hesitant now if it weren't for these hyper-realistic dreams I've been having. Huh. You know, they say that whatever's on your mind is what goes into your dreams. But dreams are and will forever be just dreams. We are people living in the real world. It's not good to be overly obsessed with dreams. All it'll do is fill up your mind and eat away at your thoughts. Yes, I know. That's why I'm also a little disappointed in myself. I still need to take care of our child. And it's probably not good to let her see me in such a state. <sighs> anyway, thanks for your advice, Great Dendro Archon. Hmm, I'm a little worried about him. I hope he can find a way to cheer up soon. I think I can handle things from here. You don't need to stay here if you find it boring. You're here to have a good time after all. You're like... Not boring though. That was actually pretty interesting. <laughs> Check on Ilman who is depressed. Are you feeling any better now? Yes. I think the Dendro Archon made a really good point. I need to stop dwelling on my wife like this and move on with my life. Jesus, Jesus. Now that I think about it, my wife and I always meet at a familiar place in my dreams. I know where that place exists in reality, but it's a bit far and dangerous. I don't dare to go there on my own. Well, then we'll but go with you. at the same time, I feel as if I should go and have a look anyway. Perhaps I'll be able to move on once I see that there's nothing there. Must there be a ghost of her? That was like a good plan. Otherwise, I'll keep on feeling like everything is covered in a haze. Like I'm only half awake. Once I can stop dreaming about that place, I'll probably be able to get my life back together. Actually, you two are adventurers, right? If it's okay with you, could you escort me to that place? Sure, let's go have a look. Yeah, it might also be a good chance for us to unwind. Even if you can't see your wife there, taking in some nice scenery will definitely help cheer you up. Yeah, I hope so too. Alright, go ahead and get yourself ready then. 
All right. <laughs> Oops. Speaking of longing for the deceased, I'd better tell Nahida about Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Should we though? Nahida should at least know that she once existed in this world. Actually, she might already know. Are you headed off to some interesting place without telling me again? Because like, she's been inside of Lumine's consciousness, so like, I feel like she already knows. Who knows? Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, aren't you supposed to be answering questions? I just finished, and they really got a lot out of it. So many interesting and novel thoughts. Anyway, it looks like you're going somewhere. Why don't you take me with you? Oh, there's no need to trouble you, Great Dendro Archon. I imagine you must have many other important things to deal with. She's a break no too. Need to stand on ceremony. Besides, I wouldn't have asked to come along if I didn't have a good reason. Oh, really? I wanted to use this opportunity to discuss with you some things that are puzzling me right now. Huh. I didn't know the great Dendro Archon could become puzzled, too. <laughs> Even the God of Wisdom <laughs> can become puzzled. From you, you know. All right, let's go. We can talk on the way. I better go with her. The whole Greater Lord Ricka Devada thing will take some explaining. <laughs> hey, Ivan! Thanks for the, the the super chat. That's what they're called, right? <laughs> Can you tell I haven't really been on YouTube much? Did it not play a, a notification? Or I just not hear it over the talking? Well, thank you, Ivan. How are you? Oh, there we go. I heard it now. There we go. Poke Tilda is what it said. That did work. Good, 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 good. I heard it. How are you, Ivan? I honestly don't know why I ever switched to Twitch. Actually, I do know why. It's because the quality, the video quality was much better, and I, it still is, but... I'm actually thinking about upgrading my internet again. Um... So that, uh, I can stream at an even higher bitrate. Yeah, I, I can see the conversion. But hey, a dollar ten is a dollar ten. I appreciate it. Don't blink. Hey! Into the wind. Scatter. Just nowhere to hide. Speed of light. So what have you been up to? Income. Yeah. Wind knows me. EHD. Sheesh. That's pretty impressive. Three years. That's over halfway though, right? Because the PhDs are eight, eight years, correct? Why did this suddenly light up? Hello? Wait, what? Do I have to be close to them? Oh, do I have to hit all of them from here? Okay, so we do this. We do this. Is that gonna work? It's not going to hit them, is it? Oh, do I need to use Kale, maybe? <sighs> Trying not to die. Four and a half years? Oh, okay. I've been alright. I've been alright. Recently, I've been been a lot better. 
than I have been in, in the past, but you know, I'm I'm good. Um where's Kale? Am I blind? There we go. I'll ensure your safety. <laughs> okay, we got it. Wow, I don't know if that's so really how you're supposed to do that, but I couldn't I couldn't think of uh other way to do it really. Just what will we come across this time? Yeah, I play this game a lot. <laughs> Like how it's suddenly nighttime. Ah, it's always nice to go for a leisurely stroll. Huh. Do adventurers often go to places like this? Yes, of course. Huh. I guess so. I'm guessing you don't so leave the city much. This is where you always meet your wife in your dreams? Yes, for the most part. Our place is on the summit, just up ahead. When I saw her in my dreams, we didn't do anything but talk about ordinary yeah you probably don't have a lot of time huh i'd tell her about our daughter Hydar, and she always listened intently she would also reminisce about the past with me telling me interesting stories and cracking jokes it feels like no matter how long we may chat it's never enough sometimes it's the little things in life that matter the most this is the part I'm a little puzzled about. I am very familiar with dreams, and normally they lack logic and continuity. But you Whoa, said she could remember down. what you had told her before, right? That's right. She always listened to me carefully in real life, and now she's doing the same in my dreams. She always surprises me with some details from our lives in the real world. The fact that she can remember such things makes me feel like she's alive. That's pretty weird. What if she does have? Well, what if he does have some kind of weird kind of dream, like that However, isn't normal? The problem is that his dreams have too much structure and continuity. Yes, Most it is. Most dreams are far more fragile than you can imagine. For example, a loud noise outside your window in the real world could cause your dream self to get loaded into and fired out of a big cannon. Another example: if you're thirsty in the real world then you might find yourself trudging through a desert in your dream. But the appearance of your wife seems unusually stable and unaffected by any outside interference. Statistically, this should be extremely rare. I don't understand it either. Mm. But I have no it's reason be something to suspect more. or reject these dreams. They're too beautiful. Indeed. But I still want to figure out the how and the why. These kind of dreams are novel to me as well. That's why I want to have a look at the scene your dreams have been taking place at. Let's go. Just think of it as a nice little hike to the top of the mountain. You're piquing the god of wisdom's interest. I think that's a, that's a red flag, brother. <laughs> I should be possessed or something by his dead wife. The mini genius talking st statistics. Are you talking about Nahida? That little the elf? Talking about her? She's literally the god of wisdom. So that would be why. <laughs> I like how we came up here and went down, now we're going back up. <laughs> Have I been up there? I feel like that mountain's really tall. Actually, is that mountain even in playable space? Oh yes, I've been up there. I know where that is now. He really was 
wasn't kidding. This place definitely isn't safe. No matter. We'll just finish them quickly. Huh? Are you going to fight too, Nahida? Yeah, she's of broken. Course. This is all part of our little trip. I know she says she isn't very good at combat, but she's like one of the most broken units to come to this game. Like, literally so broken. Oh my god, is that Damon? <laughs> Have you already done this, Damon? The scenery here is amazing! It also seems like a great spot for eating snacks and taking a nap. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, if not, you should probably leave. <laughs> Spending some time here every day, either. <sighs> I've yet to see anything strange about this place. I do not plan to deny the power of longing. Such an intense but unquantifiable emotion could indeed have the power to organize dreams. His wife must be a really amazing person. Huh? Wait, where'd he go? Oh, Mokas. So you are waiting for me here? Well, guess what? I've brought someone amazing with me today. What's when going on? When Dendro Archon said she wanted to come with me, I could hardly believe it. I'll bring Hydar once I'm more familiar what with What is going here. on? She's been telling me that she really misses you. Huh? What's wrong with him? There's nobody there. He's delusional. <laughs> Wait, Minar, don't go that way. Or is he way. sleepwalking? It's dangerous. Uh-oh, he's gonna fall! Catch him! You rush to Elman, who is walking towards the edge of the cliff. Monka S! <sighs> Luckily, he didn't fall. But what was all that rambling about? He also looks like he's passed out. He's in the dream now. What he said just now matches almost perfectly with the dreams he subscribed to us earlier. Oh, so he fell asleep? How's Damon? And started to have the same dream? Yes, he did. <laughs> I find it a little strange as well, but we mustn't awaken someone while they're sleepwalking. All we can do is sit here and wait. <sighs> Good. Huh? Minar. Where's Minar? Oh, good! You're finally awake! <laughs> Cue Skyrim uh, meme. What happened? You were sleepwalking and almost fell. Huh? Sleepwalking? Alright, oh, Ivan, well, it was right. nice seeing you, bro. It was all just a dream. Take care. The moment I reached the summit, I saw my wife, Minar, sitting there and walked over to her. After I introduced her to you, she seemed a little flustered and started walking away. I told her to stop because of the cliff, and then she seemed to suddenly disappear. A strong wind started to blow around me and the sky grew dark. When I realized something wasn't right, I woke up. That sounds pretty wild. Maybe you were just too tired. I don't think so. I slept a lot yesterday, and I don't feel very sleepy now. Maybe we've affected the way his subconscious constructs dreams by following him here. Anyway, all that matters is that you woke up safe and sound. I think I know what happened now. I'm sorry. If it weren't for you, I would have fallen. Yeah. Let's head back now. Don't come back to this place again for the time being. Oh, uh, sus. Okay. Nahida, what's on your mind? Paimon's a little worried now. She must have a theory. We still don't have enough evidence to work off of, so it's hard to draw any reliable conclusions yet. But I'm concerned that Ilmon's case may not be unique to him. Oh. oh, right! Come to think of it, there were lots of people from the event who had vivid memories of their dreams. Maybe this phenomenon is already spreading. Right. And not only at a moment of dreams, there may be people like this all across Sumeru. 
We need to understand what's happening and the rate of its development as soon as possible. Then there's no time to lose! Let's head back! Stop standing there, Ilmon! Let's go! Oh yeah, Damon. Did you realize that they they changed the anti-aliasing method in this game to FSR? I just find it interesting that they got rid of their their other one. Just like you only have FSR as an option. Though. Um, which I mean, I, the game looks sharper, but I like I feel like the TAA that I think it was TAA they used it for, um, kind of fit the game still. Like it it made it look a little little softer but i think it makes sense with the art style but i mean like it doesn't look bad it looks sharper um but yeah i found it odd that they removed the option altogether We're back already. <laughs> yep. How'd it go? Already, it's the night time now. We have an emergency on our hands. Please notify everyone here that while they can continue to discuss their dreams, they mustn't try to visit or recreate the locations and scenes that they have been experiencing in them. What? Uh, uh, all right. If that's the wish of the great Dendro Archon. You're gonna cause panic. But could you at least tell me <laughs> what happened? You all look so serious. That's base. I see. I never knew even a dream could be so dangerous. Don't worry. I'll be sure to notify all the event participants and inform the other staff members about what has happened. Using the event registration list, I should be able to contact more people that were interested in dreams and warn them about the situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Thank you. That would be very helpful. Let me confirm if all of today's participants are still here. Atta has already left. It seemed that he was on his way to make a hammer, so that shouldn't be a problem. Oh, wait a second. Where's Katya? Not only does it does it make sense why she's so powerful and stuff, but she's also lived long enough to the point where it makes sense that she would arrive before the Traveler did. Because the Traveler... Actually, we don't know 100% when the Traveler arrived, now that I think about it. Especially since, our, since the player Traveler was put into basically a sleep for 500 years. <laughs> but still. Has anyone seen Katya? Has she already left? Oh, I, I think she already left. She said there was somewhere she wanted to go. Oh no. Did she want to look for the place from her dreams too? Can you tell us where she went? Yes, she did briefly mention it. Uh -oh. Somewhere near Chatracum Cave. All right, thank you. Well, I better stop her. We'll go look for her. Please help us tell the others not to do anything reckless. Sure thing. Oh, who would have known things would have turned out like this? <laughs> Before sun and moon. Oh, what a book. <laughs> yeah, what I also find kind of interesting, too, is that, uh, the I know you haven't really done the R and R, but I'm gonna say this anyway because they say it pretty fast. But uh, they they call her gold and bright like the sun, 
and Paimon silver and uh, like the moon. You know, I mean, that's always been kind of a theory, I think, anyway, but there's a lot of like sun and moon stuff. <clears throat> I hope I didn't take fall She's damage there. there. <laughs> by monsters. Come on, let's rescue her. What what's what's this Nahida rocking? 485 EM. Yeah, she's got the she's got the genie lamp. Just kidding. Why do they keep giving no bless to the freaking trial characters? Oh my god. Wait, Kuching did die from fall damage. God damn it. Hold the line. I will oh, but I just killed her again because <laughs> blue. God damn it. Bring forth. <laughs> Trolling. She seems to be in the same condition as Ilman earlier. Yes, but luckily she hasn't been injured or jolted awake yet. Let's carefully move her somewhere safer. Nod. See you tomorrow, Professor Aisha. <sighs> huh? What? Why am I back here again? You were dreaming just now. Dreaming? But what about Professor Aisha? Oh, I see. It was all just a dream. Well, I hate that the, that the word dream is in ruin for me. After all, it hasn't changed a single bit. Huh? Because what of dream. It? Nearly 20 years and it still hasn't bloomed. <sighs> We've been watching this flower for 20 years. Does it have something to do with your dream? Please, tell us what you mean. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm still feeling a little groggy. Please give me a moment here. <sighs> All right, where to start? Right, this plant. So, Professor Aisha gave me this plant just before she left. She was a good friend of my parents and my first real tutor. She was also an outstanding Amorta researcher. In addition to her extraordinary academic talents, she was also skilled in combat and would accept lots of work from the Adventurers Guild. Yeah, I know what before Sun and Moon is. Trust me, like, so many theories revolve around that book, too. Oh, so you mean she's left on an adventure? Speaking of Ekonomia, yes. I need to finish that. <laughs> when I was about 10 years old, she told me that she must go look for the secrets of the Abyss. Oh. And that she would be gone for a long time. Secrets of the I Abyss. I grabbed hold of her and wouldn't let go. I didn't know what the Abyss was. I just knew that she was like family to me. She hugged me. And we cried for some time until I fell asleep. When I woke up, I was already back home. She still decided to leave. But had left behind a letter for me saying that I was the person she cared for most in this world. She claimed that... Investigating the Abyss could help more ordinary people protect the people and things they care about. She had obtained some important evidence during her past adventures. If she didn't set off right away, she might miss the perfect opportunity. Guess Ad Astra Abyssosk isn't just a slogan. She left a seed in the letter, telling me that if it sprouted and bloomed, then she'd come back no matter what sort of risky situation she was in. She mm. said she looked forward to seeing me all grown up. But strangely, I've tried watering it, feeding it, everything I could think of. But I've never been able to get it to bloom. <laughs> There's some hydro I and even dendro. I to ask the Immorta researchers, and they couldn't explain it either. May I have a look at the plant? Of course. I was hoping the great Dendro Archon could help me solve this problem. Let me see. 
Hello, Kasumi. Among us. <laughs> huh? We've never seen that look on Nahida's face before. Yeah. Wasn't it specifically near the end of his journey through Tivat? Or hers? I mean, it depends on the traveler you chose, but I'm pretty sure you chose Lumine, right? Uh... Wait, could it be an expression pleading for help? She... she looks a little unwell. Um, hold on, we'll be right back. Oh. What's wrong, Nahida? You can't tell what's wrong with the plant either? No, I immediately understood what's happening with that plant. I'm just not sure if I should say it. This it's, plant is plant not known bloom. to the academic world. It's a new species that her teacher managed to cultivate by some special means. Oh? Judging by its features, I can tell from the moment it sprouted, it'll never be able to bloom. Oh, true. It can't be! It means that this Professor Aisha she keeps mentioning might have foreseen the danger and was prepared to never return. Yeah, 3.2 Archon Quest was crazy. Like, not only was it, like, really good all the way through, but, like, the ending of it, too. It just... All the shit that happened. Like, it's, it's all just dialogue, but, like, it was crazy. It really set up for future plot points. And yeah, Damon, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. And I feel like we're probably gonna experience the same thing at some point. Yep. And I, I spitballed this in the past, but I find it kind of interesting because they mentioned it again um, when she said goodbye to Ruka Devata that uh, basically that she's the new Dendro Archon for this Samsara. So like... Or is this whole game a Samsara? <laughs> and that's why that's why the the sibling has already gone through the same journey. Because I spitballed that in the past. I was like, eh, that sounds a little far fetched. But you know, it came up again. So is it a loop? From my experience observing people, she would undoubtedly regard this as a brutal revelation. When forced to confront such brutal truths, people may break down into tears, talk nonsense, or lose their tempers. I know she has to face the truth, but at the same time, I don't want to hurt her. Tell me, what should I do? Yeah, that's a tricky one. Um, <laughs> seems like I'll you've already got a good idea of the feelings she might experience. Radish Archon for Hutao. I mean, she's really strong, too. I'll tell her. <laughs> I love that. I'm just pushing it all on you. What if she just gets angry at you instead? I think she's gonna get it's sad right. instead. There are all kinds of people, and the examples you observed are just the most extreme cases. I've seen many situations like this before, and there's always a way to work through it. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, thank you. Let's go back and tell her. They've really been playing with transitions lately, I've noticed. Huh? I respect It'll never it. bloom? But how is that possible? If a plant is unable to bloom, doesn't that mean it can't reproduce either? All that's left for it to do is slowly wither away.
it seems like that can, that may be exactly what your t uh, teacher intended. She meant to convey a message to the plant's true nature. Are you saying she never intended to return? Seriously? Well, she was so gonna go fuck with the abyss. So everything she said was a lie. But she meant well. Since the separation was inevitable, she hoped that you would be able to come to grips with such a cruel parting a little later in life. She really cared about you. Yeah. Her love, care, and attention to you. All those warm moments were real. I guess she had hoped that you could understand and respect her choice after learning the truth. I see. Sorry, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but it's just... Just so much to take in. The dreams are so beautiful. I mean, she's just taking care of them right now. Is heartlessly cold. I really thought she had come back. I had so much to tell her. I do wonder what makes him playable next update, though. And how he becomes Animo. I can understand your grief. We're trying to investigate these dreams. These dreams may not be as pure and beautiful as they seem. Some kind of power may be exploiting your feelings. Huh. <sighs> really? Yes. So with that in mind, until our investigation is completed, please return to the event and ignore any further temptations from your dreams. I see. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. And sorry for the trouble. Luckily, the plant didn't get hurt either. Otherwise, I wouldn't have anything left to remember her by. Now it is a memento. Thanks, Traveler and Paimon. She seems to have finally accepted the truth. But I think she'll still need a long time to come to terms with her feelings. I saw her waver the moment you mentioned love. It was almost like a gentle ring, arriving just in time to put out a fire that was about to spread. It's because people have something called empathy. Empathy? Some more than others, lol. This is valuable knowledge indeed. By the way, you said there may be something that's trying to exploit their feelings. Any idea what that might be? Yes. What's common between Ilmon and Katya's cases is that they've both lost someone dear to them. And now, they get to meet the people they cherish in their dreams again. And the people feel more real than anything a regular dream could hope to create. Maybe we shouldn't tell her about Ruka the Vata. Instead of interpreting <laughs> it as a result of their longing, I have to consider a more antagonistic explanation. Someone is taking advantage of their longing. Which is kind of fucked. But what would be the motive? Yeah, they're just causing these people to dream. What are they after? This is exactly what we need to investigate. Anyway... Let's pay another visit to a moment of dreams. I have a bad feeling about all this. I hope things haven't gotten any worse. Good thing you shut up when you did. <laughs> That's based. I make sure to ignore everything story related if I can. I don't think I've been spoiled on story stuff yet. I usually do look at kits and uh, and materials though, so I can prepare for characters. It's mostly just a time saving thing. But I do try to ignore most of the leaks because I think Getchen Impact is a really good experience, personally. <laughs> oh, yeah, just like oh, there's two people sleeping here. Three, three people sleeping here. We're back. How's everything here? Uh, I am so sorry, Great Dendro Archon. We're still trying to figure out how to explain the whole thing to everyone. Because of your warning, we've brought dreamers here even if they were completely unaware of the danger. 
But some of them have already fallen asleep, and they haven't woken up for a long time. I fear there's nothing we can do about it. A moment of dreams is just a small interest group. We don't have enough staff members to handle this. Just as I expected. It seems my guess was correct. So rather than this was one of the first times that I didn't actually know that either of these characters were coming. Like, I didn't even know of the other character. Um, what's her name? The, the, the Miku clone. <laughs> Paluzon or something? Um, and Scaramouche. I had no idea that those two characters were coming. Hell, I didn't even know Layla existed until they actually dropped the, the Farazon, yeah. Um, but I didn't even know that Layla existed until they, they posted the thing. Yeah, this game has a lot of Gnosticism in it, so... I mean, like, the main, the main plot seems to be kind of based off of a lot of Gnosticism stuff. The Gnosis, the demons, everything. It's the Dendro Archon. So yeah, She's that's back. if if you found a reason in Gnosticism, it probably makes sense. Uh, what happened? What, why have we been gathered here? Many of you here have been experiencing some beautiful dreams. Yeah, my polls were awful. My polls were so bad for Nahida. Mostly because I had C6 of all the characters except for Razor. I got C6 of Razor. But, like, I was really hoping Layla was going to be on first half as well. But she wasn't. But I'm sorry to tell you that based on our investigation, there's some kind of conspiracy behind them. Before we learn the truth, please don't try to recreate the scenes in your dreams. Whatever you see, don't be tempted by them. Huh? But... I don't think it's a big deal. Aren't we just dreaming? It's not like dreams will have an effect on others. We've already met two people who ran off to the countryside alone and got caught in dangerous situations by falling to the temptations in their dreams. That's right! These aren't just dreams! It's serious! All right, I get it, I get it. <laughs> so does that mean once we have some conclusive results from the investigation, we can continue to enjoy these dreams? Yeah, I still want to visit my sister in my dreams. No, not necessarily. It'll depend on the results of our investigation. I'm sorry if what I'm about to say sounds a little offensive, Great Dendro Archon, but... We had a discussion with the folks who just arrived here. In all of our dreams, we were able to reunite with people who were very close to us. They all seemed as if they were alive again, which makes us reluctant to wake up. Yes, that's also what we've observed in our investigation. So if the results of this investigation would mean an end to those dreams, that'd be quite cruel to us. All of us understand the danger, but... Perhaps you can't quite understand just how much those people mean to us. I don't think everyone will be on board with the plan to abandon these dreams for good. Before the conclusion of the investigation, they'll at least want to meet the people in their dreams one last time and say goodbye. We've never had such a difficult situation before. It appears that not many people are willing to cooperate. Well, there's a lot of overlap in like demons and stuff, so I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. <laughs> also, Persona, Persona and Shimagami Tensei use tons of mythology stuff. And so does this game. Lol. <clears throat> so they still want to return to their dreams despite knowing the danger? Because I think it's also why I like this game so much. I kind of like mythology. Even if I don't know the source material very much, like even just implementing it in a tasteful way is, is cool. I don't think it's a plot hole. I think it's just that's how they that's what they know her as. But yeah, I, I mentioned the same thing. I'm like, why are you still calling her the lesser the lesser lord? There is no greater lord anymore. But I think that's just because that's what they know her as. Because <clears throat> they did it doesn't change the memory of who she is. Although I think it technically did. But whatever. 
it did kind of change her history. Like, they, they think that she's the one that, you know, changed everything. It's hard to clearly say who's right and who's wrong. That's right. Compared with these sweet and beautiful dreams, our warnings of danger are dull and emotionless. It looks like the situation will inevitably spiral out of control. The more time we waste, the more people will ignore our warnings and return to their alluring dreams. So, what should we do? Seems we have to go into a dream and find out the truth for ourselves. Pedrush, is there anyone here who's experiencing a marvelous dream right now? Uh, let me think. Uh, yes, this way. Good. Please take us there. This lady refused to heed our warnings and fell asleep here a little earlier. Debbie. Hmm. She's only asleep and hasn't started sleepwalking. It seems she hasn't sunk too deep into her dream yet. Do we also need to fall asleep if we want to go into her dream? Don't worry about that. I'm Lesser Lord Kusanali after all. Now, don't be nervous. Just close your eyes. Imagine yourselves as waves gradually rolling onto the beach. You slowly wash over the shore and sink into the sand. Domain? Ether? What's wrong, Traveler? You look a little disoriented. What was that? No, it's nothing. It seems this whole dream situation is getting to me, getting to me too. Really? Paimon didn't notice anything. Anyway, seems like we've made it into the dream. I thought we would arrive at some familiar scene. But we seem to have landed in a completely unfamiliar place. Whoa! So many giant plants! Even in the sky! Amazing! Theoretically, we should have gone straight into Debbie's dream. Things do seem to have gone a bit sideways here. Anyway, let's see if we can find any leads. Hmm. Oh yeah, Kuching's dead. Allow me. <laughs> Oops. Totally not my bed. I see everything. Why is that shroom there? That shroom there. And that shroom there. Huh? A door? Hmm. Wonder where it could lead. Oh, well, it's not like we have any other way to go now. Let's go in and have a look. Yo! portray a scene from real life, which concurs with our previous findings. Really? But well, what about that space we were in just now? <laughs> if it was like some kind of hub, dreams may be connected. You can't mean... This is another collective dream? 
Yes. Given that so many people have been experiencing these beautiful dreams, I would say it's very likely that they're interconnected. Compared to an interconnected dream, independent individual dreams would be much harder to manage and manipulate. Ah, Paimon gets it now. Well, let's go talk with Debbie. Oh, but there are some other people next to her. Uh, are they dreaming too? If this base is exclusive to Debbie's dream, then the others beside her are most likely the people she cherishes. Anyway, we should confirm that first, just to be sure. Huh. How do we do that? Eavesdrop. Just leave it to me. Are we gonna use her ability to freaking read people's minds? Tapping Nate is on with the skill all schemes to know allows her to hear the inner thoughts of those hit by the skill. Old Nahida's elemental skill all schemes to know to select a specific person to hear their inner thoughts. There seem to be many within this dreamscape whose hearts cannot be read by all schemes to know. What's happened? Mm, the coffee here still tastes the same as ever. <laughs> You two have traveled all around to that. Surely you've all tasted better coffee than this. I suppose so, but no matter how good things may be elsewhere, nothing beats the taste of home. That's right. It's hard to change your tastes. Anyway, here's to your return home. Welcome back, everyone. Why are these transitions so slow? Oh. There we go. How could they be? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Huh? She sounds a little hesitant. I've confirmed that this dream belongs only to Debbie, because I'm unable to hear the thoughts of the other two people with her. So, this is the power of the Dendro Archon? Better watch your thoughts from now on. <laughs> don't worry. I don't often use my powers like this. It's rather impolite. All right. I need to get myself ready. It won't be easy to break it to her, but there's no avoiding it now. The, the Great Dead Archon. Uh, what brings you here? I'm here to break I'm your heart. I'm sorry to interrupt your celebration, but. Have you noticed that what's happening here doesn't quite match up with your memories? I... I don't quite understand, Great Dendro Archon. What do you mean? I get it! The Dendro Archon is trying to say that it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that we're able to gather here! Hey, how about a cup of coffee for all of you? My treat. We just returned from a fruitful adventure. Memories? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Think carefully. You of all people should know what really happened to them. Are you sure that meeting here and chatting the day away like this isn't just a product of your own wishful thinking? Uh, uh, Damn. Don't yes. give it to you. The reports from the Steambird were true. The Damn. ship they were on struck a reef and sank. Sad. I never heard from Vasima and Gaspar again. Rip. In the pip. Hey, come on now. What are you talking about, Debbie? Yeah, trust your memories. Nothing you see here is real. Except for us three. I get it now. This is a dream, isn't it? But since it's my dream, it doesn't matter if this is real or not. I enjoy the way things are here. I no longer have to face the tragedies of real life. These friends mean the world to me. Nobody else can understand me like they do. There's nothing wrong with continuing this dream. Is there? I'm worried that if you were to continue dreaming like this, the lines between dreams and reality will gradually become too blurred for you. These dreams will always give you what you want, while reality remains full of pain and difficult situations. If you are not careful, you can get hurt. 
Don't worry. I still have control. I won't let it go that far. Copium. Are you sure? <laughs> hey, how about we put all this troublesome stuff aside and get back to our coffee and snacks, hmm? Whether it's just a dream or real life, you should be happy. You can't just brush off something like this. We don't even know how you people got here or where you even came from. Don't push it, Paimon. These are important people to Debbie. <sighs> Sorry. Paimon didn't mean to upset anyone. No, it's all right. I understand that you're just trying to look out for me. It seems that for now, this place is still relatively harmless for you. But I wonder if there's any way to go deeper into the dream. Huh. Now that you mention it, I once heard a strange voice tell me that there's an entrance here. I'm not interested in checking it out at the moment, but maybe I'll go in and have a look later. Okay. Thanks for your help. Just as I expected, we're only on the surface of this dream. Let's go. Two hundred thirty ninth stream of the coast. Yeah, access to fifty. What? To <laughs> the portal. I love that screen effect. That's so cool. Okay, that's weird though. Oh, it's the grass. Raining in here this time. We were just up there. No, down there. Uh, did we go oh, up or down? Oh, flip. Don't panic. This is how dreams work. We've left Debbie's dream, but the dream is still continuing onward. I'm not sure where it'll lead us. This dream has the ability to create imaginary people, which is why people are so unwilling to wake up. If it weren't for what we just saw. Paima might still find that a bit hard to believe. So what awaits us further in the dream? I have a guess. If these dreams are connected, then there should be some sort of order to them. The fact that Debbie was able to realize that she was dreaming means that she is not very deep in the dream yet. But the space we're in has been turned upside down. Do you remember the characteristics of dreams that I mentioned earlier? Oh, right! Dreams are chaotic. That's right. It's possible that we're heading deeper into this dream now. And the deeper we go, the closer we'll get to the essence of the dream. Right. So the answers might be waiting for us deeper in the dream. We should hurry. Yes. And we should get ready for whatever we may encounter. It looks like a dendroculus. It looks like we made it put something inside there. Oh, does Electra not work on this one? <laughs> oh. Everyone hold hands! Don't blink! <sighs> You heard it here first, everyone hold hands. The birds call! Rest and re- That is not what I meant to do. The Temple of Wisdom! I didn't even even get to use her, her thing inside her burst lol. Oh? No! Oh, okay, I thought I missed the Whoa. chest for a second. And it appears again as soon as the rain stops. It's less like a flower, and more like the dendro slime that's trying to keep out of sight. Here we go again with Nahida's analogy. <laughs> so what? Nahida's Nahida's analogies are great. What? Are we back up here again? Uh, wait. Uh, Paimon's confused. Are we up here or down there? Good thing we didn't fall. <laughs> yes, 
course we did. We just fell upwards. That's mm. not helping, Nahida! Uh, Paimon has no clue what's going on anymore! <laughs> well, just figure it out, forehead. Oh, we're at the cliffs, cliff Wait, again. Were we already here a little earlier? This is probably Ilmon's dream. Huh? Why would he start dreaming again? Didn't we warn him? Yes, but it seems that the danger isn't enough to stop him from longing for his wife. Based on what we've learned so far, he must be sleeping more deeply for his dreams to appear here. But fortunately, he already knows us from before, so hopefully we'll be able to wake him up. Wake up, Bilmon. It's time for work. <laughs> Bilmon! Oh, it's you. Incredible. I think I she didn't know collect you anything, in my dream too. but maybe not. Did you say dream? Wait, so you know this is a dream? Mm -hmm. Of course. Such good things rarely happen to me in real life these days. Here, let me introduce everyone. Damn, the water he longs for his wife. My wife, who I mentioned <laughs> before. Kidding. And this is our daughter, Hydar. Hello. It's a great honor to meet the Dendro Archon. Whoa, Dad. You know the Dendro Archon? That's amazing! And what's this? <gasps> Is it a new toy? Paimon. No, it's Paimon, not a toy! Uh, anyway, now's not the time for that! Nahida, this doesn't seem to add up with what we were expecting. <sighs> You're right. Let me think for a bit Rip here. Rip these birds. Amon, did you secretly go back to that place again on your own? Oh, right! We didn't see him in a moment of dreams earlier! Paimon thought he'd gone home! Okay, am I crazy? Or since Act 5, is this the first time we see Traveler cross her arms? Like, I don't know if I just didn't notice it before, but I feel like I've noticed it a lot since Act 5. Like, I could swear that she didn't do that before. Am I crazy? Like, I know she usually puts her, her hands on her hips or something. But, like, I don't know if she crossed her arms before. I feel like I'm going crazy. But maybe not. Sorry. I just had to make sure that Hydar could get a chance theory, to see Gavin? her mother. I had gotten pretty familiar with the hike, so I brought Hydar with me. I'm just glad we didn't meet any you monsters. You brought your along child the way. with you? Yes, I'm glad too. Sounds dangerous. I didn't expect her to grow up so fast. It must have been very hard for him. I regret not being able to fulfill my role as a wife and a mother. No, don't talk like that. Let's leave all that unhappy stuff behind for now. Even if we're in a dream. It's still a blessing that we've been able to reunite in this way. What should we do now? Should we tell him the truth? You can... You can let me break the news. I should be the one to do it. I'm sorry, but... I should tell you that your dream did not create us. We are real people with our own consciousness. Like the last time we met, we are still investigating this dream, and we've already learned some things about it. So you mean, there's something nefarious with this dream as well? Hmm? Ilmon, what's going on? It seems the reunion of our family is destined to only be temporary. Huh? Is mom leaving? Maybe, but in all likelihood, that is indeed how things will end. Oh. No, Mom, you can't leave! I'm afraid I don't quite understand what's going on. Don't worry, Hydar. Mom's not going anywhere. Please, don't cry. Minar doesn't understand any of this. 
Well, that does make a little I'm sense fully because aware uh, that this is a dream. So that's why I've never told her the truth, but they're supposedly missing. And have been for a long time. But at least according to what we heard from Nahida. Never mind. It's not like I would know what to say. I mean, I don't get any of the complicated stuff. But regardless of whether this dream is good or bad, you're here to resolve it, right? Yes. Then please, let us enjoy this moment for just a while longer. Regardless of whatever caused this dream to come to pass, I feel extremely grateful to have had the chance to reunite with my family. But does this dream really have to disappear? I'm afraid so. Sorry. Aww. Okay. I see. Please, come this way. You can go even deeper into the dream by heading in this direction. I have heard that the further down you go, the more pleasant the dreams become. And the more you want to stay. The answer you're looking for may also be found there. Go ahead. Thank you for helping us. And I'm truly sorry. You're welcome. It's not like I have any say in the matter. I'm just an ordinary person after all. Who am I to interfere with the work of a god? I'll be right behind you. I should at least let Minar and Hydar know what's going on here. Otherwise, my daughter might be mad at her mother after we wake up. We're not doing something... bad, are we, Nahida? That depends on how you define good and bad. place again. This place is almost like a flight of stairs that connects all the dreams together. But they appear to be getting more and more aggressive. Regular stairs wouldn't try to attack us. Let's recap what we've learned so far. Right. Something seems to be off about our theory. Ilmon is clearly aware that he's dreaming, and he's enjoying it. Rather than dreaming on a deeper level, he almost seemed more awake. I believe we're on the right track, but we just need another explanation. It's not that the dreams are getting deeper, it's the owner's attachment to the dreams that's getting stronger. But you would never mistake dreams for real life, right? Of course not. Although sometimes I almost wish I could. Sometimes, Paimon almost wishes her dreams could be real. But it's just a quick thought. It's not long before Paimon's thinking about other things. Like sticky honey roast. Listen, we're real beings living in the real Paimon world. Only thinks about food. And that's where our focus should be. This also explains the insubstantiality of our dreams. No matter what they may become, we don't really care. But if we decide to abandon reality and embrace our dreams, then our dreams will become far more substantial. Wake up, Tabor. Oh, wait! Paimon's starting to get it now! Your mind will begin to build the dream far more attentively, which in turn will make it feel more real. Do you remember how the Akasha can turn dreams into Nyana energy? Constructing a realistic dream consumes a similar energy. Which means there's another dream out there that's responsible for this. Does that mean there's a host of these dreams here like Milu during the Subzeros festival? That makes sense. If we wake that person up, this collective dream will end, right? Mm-hmm. Most likely. But the collective dream in Sumeru City was created by the Akasha, and now the Akasha has been turned off. This has nothing to do with the Aranara, and humans are not capable of creating a collective dream. Which means... The host has something to do with the Akasha. Huh? So, did someone manage to restart the Akasha? Hmm, that's impossible. But they are probably a scholar of the Academia who had a close connection with the Akasha. Even so, how did they manage to do it? 
And how did they choose the host? Let's keep moving. Yeah, we haven't gotten to the end yet. Once we know their motive, all the questions will resolve themselves. Oh! <laughs> Elevator. Before the water level rises. Oh, is it actually? It's actually raising in real time. All right. It's kind of cool. I don't think the rain coming down as slow as it was though was going to fill up that so that fast. There's two things left. Finally made it! The destination is right ahead! But is it our final destination? <laughs> wow! A new place! Uh, well, it's just new to Paimon in this dream. This oh. should be the final destination. Oh no! She actually what? said it! Really? <laughs> That's hilarious. Her head gets cut off by some bullshit. <laughs> it's more ordinary than I imagined. Yeah! These are just ordinary city streets. I have powers related to dreams, so it's usually easy for me to tell who's dreaming and who's created <sighs> by dreams. I guess only those who have thoroughly accepted this dream will be able to come here. Oh, so the final de there final destination so is so far. Here, how can we find the host? Don't worry, I have a way. There's a will, there's a way. As I like to say, I rhyme. Oh, it didn't even know it. I rhyme. All the time. <laughs> he does like to say. <laughs> you know, I've heard that plants grow better if you play music for them. Yeah, they honestly are kind of fucked note, films. It's been a while since I last heard you play. Sorry, I've been a little busy these last couple days. Yeah, that's why kids aren't supposed to watch those those kinds of movies. Oh, the Dendro Archon. What a pleasant surprise. Hmm? Oh, welcome, great Dendro Archon. And your companions, too. Welcome. I'm Amira. I run the flower shop here. And this is my husband, Moses. Yes, how may we help you? You already know all about me. There's no need for all the pleasantries. Perhaps I should call you the dream's owner? <laughs> As expected of the Dendro Archon. I'm sorry, Amira. It seems my research has attracted the Dendro Archon's attention. Why don't you go You're back to the flower danger, shop? You're dog. I'll come help you a little later. Okay, of course, dear. I'll see you later. I'm assuming that's someone that he lost. 
It appears that I was too naive to think I could deceive the Dendro Archon in person like this. To avoid looking like too much of a fool, allow me to ask the first question. Hello, hello, Willow. How are you? How well would you say you understand this dream? This dream was built by the Akasha, and it has the power to create imaginary people who no longer exist in the real world. As for you, you found a unique way to become the owner of this dream, going so far as to have even given up the ability to wake up again. I'm tired as well. Given up the ability to wake up? But I'm doing alright as well. <laughs> Impressive. You truly are the embodiment of wisdom. Auto plays so awkward tell sometimes. Tell me how you were able to arrive at such a conclusion. It's probably... In return, I'll answer the question you're most curious about. So my my theory on autoplay is that it autoplays to the Chinese dub, but if the Chinese dub goes faster than the English dub, then um, it lets the English dub play out till the end of the voice line. If that makes sense. But if the English line is faster than the Chinese line, then it has a long pause while it waits for the Chinese. Because the because the du or the the lip syncing is synced to Chinese. So I'm assuming that's why it's that way. But I don't know. It's simple. Apart from you. This space only consists of real people who are dreaming and imaginary people who are created here. Although you are here and appear no different from the others, I can't sense your dream. How can I wake up a person who's already awake? Fascinating. Since you're the fully awake owner of this dream, it can never collapse from you waking up. Theoretically, this should also give you absolute control over this place. I have to admit, it really doesn't get much better than that. But even knowing all of that, one question remains. How did you do it? Isn't the answer right in front of you, great Dendro Archon? It's because I've dedicated my entire reality to this dream. I uploaded my entire consciousness into the Akasha when it was still running. Wait, what? <laughs> Your entire consciousness? That's insane. Actually, this all started because of an accident. My original goal was not about the Akasha or a collective dream. No. You were motivated above all to create a hyper-realistic person. The desire to reconnect with a real loved one is the one shared sentiment between all our dreamers. That's right. However, human models are too complicated. Only the Akasha has a Nyana energy supply powerful enough for me to generate and sustain my models. The Akasha is truly magnificent. If I siphoned a minuscule amount of its energy, nobody would even notice. And even this minuscule amount of energy was already more than enough for my purposes. Even using just crude methods, I was still able to train a fairly realistic person. I named my first work Amira. Amira. She and I entered the Academia on the same day. Starting with admission procedures, <laughs> we bumped into each other six times on just that first day. And because of that one day, we eventually went on to fall in love. We studied, conducted research, and made breakthroughs together. Our rhythm was always in step. I felt like we were two separate bodies that shared the same heart. However, Ella's eye later took her from me. Aww. So you're gathering others like you. Yes. I need more training samples to perfect Amira's personality. I found their details in the Akasha's database. Using the pretext of testing for mental health disorders, I implanted signaling devices in their bodies. Damn, this that's way I could fucked. connect them to a network, and Amira could feel their yearning. Little by little, they helped her to grow and develop a warm, human personality. To improve my efficiency and allow myself to focus on nothing but my research, I uploaded my consciousness as well, and became a part of the network. Hmm. So, technically speaking, it's not that you won't wake up, it's that you can't wake up. Yes, 
Because the Akasha was suddenly turned off, I lost all of my Nyana energy. I became imprisoned in the very network I had constructed. At first, I panicked. But, after coming to grips with the situation, I realized that I could restart this world as long as I could find a replacement source of Nyana energy. That means everyone in the network is providing you with Nyana energy! That's all there really is to it. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. I'm just saving them as well as myself. I provide a beautiful dream, and in return, I harvest their Nyana energy as fuel for the dream. They can wake up any time they wish. People need to sleep anyway, so why not have some beautiful dreams while they rest? I agree. This is the home we spent a great deal of effort on to build for ourselves. Yeah, she's right. We're staying here of our own free will. I don't understand this at all, but... I just want to spend some more time with my family. I don't want them to be sad. Thank you, dear. Great Dendro Archon, I hope you can understand. You don't need to gather around here, it's all right. The Great Dendro Archon is nothing if not kind and considerate towards her people. She won't interfere with what but you're putting them here. in danger, so she uh -oh. is going to. Now he's playing dirty. It is kind of rude. Is the imaginary people he created to influence the real people and the real dreamers against us. It seems like I won't need you to answer my last question. You're willing to tell me all your secrets because you have nothing to fear. If you use real people as your weapon and turn them against their Archon, then there's nothing the Archon can do. They just want to be with the people they cherish. I don't think there's anything wrong with me providing them with that opportunity. They don't wish to eternally part with their spouses and friends. What's so wrong about that? Well, I think, I think unfortunately that the last part of that anyway is debunked from, from the fact that we know for a fact that our traveler is not from this world. But I don't know. We know that the other traveler isn't though. Supposedly. But we don't know what happened, so we can't really... There's a lot of missing details, so we, we don't really know. If you understood humans a little better, or had also experienced firsthand the absolute devastation of loss, then perhaps you wouldn't be so cold towards us. She's not cold at all. You don't know the first thing about her. If you had used your talents and determination for a just cause, you could have become a sage of the new Oh my generation. god, just cause? Unfortunately, you've committed one of the six cardinal sins of the Academia by attempting the forbidden and fearing none. You equated people's feelings with put them in jail. Nyana energy <laughs> and deprived them of the pain that they have to face. You lured them into these dreams and even now, remain completely unaware of how evil all of this truly is. Pain? Luring? Those kinds of things haven't existed here the from the moment this was yeah, created. Exactly. She's right here. This is Ilmon's child, Hydar. Huh? My daughter? What's wrong with her? This dream relies on a set network, which means that only those with devices planted in their bodies can enter this world. Carefully think back and retrace your steps. I secretly went back to the mountainside with Hydar. Minar was already there waiting for me, and Hydar was able to see her mother. Ah, oh. you mean she isn't actually the real Hydar? That's what no, she means. Because unlike you, she can't enter this dream. The you moment you came into this dream. It created a Hydar to realize your wish of reuniting with your family. You so, left her alone again, Bone. Me, where's the <laughs> real Hydar? She's still out there on the yep. mountainside. Way to go, bro. That's right. <laughs> and she must have been terrified to see her father not in his right mind. Not to mention the monsters in that area. The situation is very dangerous. 
If the hide are still Wake up, out there, then... What are you talking about, Dad? I don't understand. I must wake up right now. I can't leave her there alone. Oh. <sighs> it seems the others have also remembered something. People try to avoid pain and stay in their perceived bubbles of safety out of an instinct to protect themselves. This is human nature, but it is also one of their weaknesses. However, why are there still so many people striving to move forward even when they know the path ahead is dangerous and painful? It's because people don't yep. only live for themselves. They so have true. families, loved ones, friends and communities. They have dreams that they are still trying to achieve. But in this dream, you showed them only the most comfortable and <laughs> That sound things. effect. <laughs> this entire world has been built on the foundation of buried and unseen pain. It's all just a well-devised scam. Got him. Seems like I've stayed in the dream for too long. I still have so many things I haven't done. Huh. I thought gods didn't understand humans. That would have explained why they created such a flawed world where countless tragedies took place. I didn't expect you to arrive at the answer through sheer power of observation. But unfortunately, it means nothing now. If you wanted to spend a little time in the waking world, go right ahead. In any case, I wanted to spend some time alone with Amira. As long as this dream continues to exist, you'll come back. Humans aren't as strong as you think. And even if you're a god, they won't always listen to you. It's time to purge all the extraneous data and noise. Ah! Monsters, be careful! All of you, please get out of here and find somewhere safe. I am the master of this dream. I can create endless waves of monsters with the snap of a finger. Don't worry. Don't wake look. up before they get hurt. Amira doesn't like to see others in pain. If you know what's good for you, leave now. By the way, I can't believe they made her. I cannot believe they made her burst uh, have a shorter cooldown than the duration of it. <laughs> Into the wind. As one with wind and cloud. <laughs> you haven't won just yet. Oh yeah, is that so? This dream is mine. If I go into hiding here, not even an archon can ever find me. I and as just long did. as people yearn for happiness, <laughs> they will return here and rebuild this paradise. The heat had just found you, bro. Pr proved your thing wrong. <laughs> Oh, jeez. They're turning to monsters. <laughs> that scream, though. Oh, no. Amira. Amira. Amira! Amira's gonna be an abyss mage. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Amira, are you all right? I it wouldn't be funny, but it would be well. funny. <laughs> she don't feel so good. No, no, no. She turned it into. Please, no. Rift Hound. Won't gas. Oh. Oh. Amira? Question mark. Get away from there! Ruin my flowers! What should I do? Where did he go? He left because he doesn't want you anymore. Speed of light! Oh, Bro, I, just I? I delete things too I'm fast. Not a mirror. not very proficient in using the Akasha's technology, and he spent a lot of Nyana energy creating monsters. Now the system is out of control. All the people he created also turned into monsters, including Amira. 
It's terrible, even for a dream. Even Paimon's freaked out. <sighs> Paimon can't imagine what they're going through. Now think about it. Is that what happened to the Codrians? That would be terrifying, actually. You just see your human, like... Comrades. <laughs> turn into monsters. It's like a horrible nightmare. The good news is that the chaos seems to have subsided. Now we only need to wake up the people here and Dude, let Dane's them return to their real lives. I can see why Danes would be so pissed. My <laughs> dear Amira, they're all gone. It was just a big dream after all. I couldn't change my fate. And we my knowledge change turned out fate. to be useless. What a cruel world. If you could change your fate. Do you still think this is our fault? I don't care about that anymore. The Nyana energy used to sustain this dream has all been transformed into <laughs> monsters. No this dream Damn. will soon collapse in my consciousness along with it. Let me disappear with Amira. I'd rather turn into dust than to ever wake up again. Where is he sleeping though? It seems that everything that's happened is too much for him. He's lost all hope. I want to say that he's only getting what he deserves, but I can't help but feel uh, sorry for him. I think seeing Amira turn into a monster was punishment enough for him. After comprehending the hollowness of the unreal, it's time to revisit the meaning of existence. Existence? <laughs> I'm different from the others. I've long given up everything outside of my consciousness. Using my knowledge of the Akasha, I have a way to extract your consciousness from here and put it inside a knowledge capsule. The Academia has probably kept your body, so you should be able to wake up soon. No need. Just let me disappear. Reality means nothing to me now. <laughs> Dude, the animation is so far behind. I won't let you escape your punishment because, by again, simply it's, disappearing. It's animated for Chinese dub. As for your life after that, it will be up to you how you want to exist. Alright, Traveler and Paimon, we should go back. We can finally wrap up this whole thing. Go? Uh, uh huh? Good water. What's wrong, Nahida? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, let's tell the people here to gather at a moment of dreams after they wake up. Now uh, someone's summoning a character. Just kidding. <laughs> This is a long loading screen. Oh, great. You're awake. Everybody has started to wake Q up. Skyrim meme. We've heard similar reports from around the city as well. From the looks of it, you were able to successfully resolve the issue. Yes, though it took us a good deal of effort. There will be many people gathering here shortly, so please do your best to maintain order. I need to go to the academia with them now, but we'll be back soon. Are we going to ask about that scholar? Yes, but it may take some time for him to wake up after his consciousness returns to his body. We can leave the rest to the Matra. Yo, could you imagine if it rained here in Sumeru City? These things are like prime, like prime freaking water slides. <laughs> oh, it's the great Dendro Archon. How can I help you? Her name I is Sit. Like check the registration records of a Kashara War scholar. It's actually probably like Seat or something. She should be in an unconscious state right now. Okay, just a moment. 
After a while. Sorry to keep you waiting, Dendro Archon. We have confirmed that there's a scholar named Benuni who's been unconscious for a while. The cause was improper operation of the Akasha. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, and is still receiving treatment at Bimarstan. Huh? Isn't his name Moses? I guess he didn't want to be recognized or bothered by anyone. Please, give the knowledge stored in this to the Matra and ask them to import it into Benuni's brain. Understood. But for safety reasons, I need to Do you to need to question why. the Archon? It's simple. This contains his consciousness. It's long been trapped inside of a dream. He's committed an act that affected the safety of Sumeru. After he wakes up, I'll inform the General Mahamatra of all the details. <laughs> Sino's gonna I kill think. him, dog. I'll take care of this right away. Thank you, Great Dendro Archon. Mm -hmm. No problem. <sighs> all right. Everyone should have gathered at the moment of dreams by now. Let's head back. Let's be quiet and just listen in. I wonder what she's going to say. Time for Hello. the Nahida speech. Uh, you have just woken up. I'm sorry for interrupting your beautiful dreams. I may have acted a little cold when handling things in the dream. I sincerely apologize for that. Dreams have amazing power. They inspire us to remain resolute in the face of adversity and help those with aspirations achieve their desires. But dreams also have the potential to exploit people, confuse the senses, and distort the truth. So true. Unfortunately, you are all chosen as prey for an elaborate scheme. As I've said before, I am still learning and cannot fully empathize with the pain of all the loss you've experienced. But just take a good look around you, and you'll see many other people who have had similar experiences. You should be proud that you've been able to gather here and look toward the future together. The path of life is long, and it's hard for us to see the destination. This leads us to ask a lot of difficult questions. What's the meaning of life? What's the purpose of my existence? Why do I keep experiencing pain and loss? Dang, asking all the real course, questions. The most comfortable choice is to stop progressing. Give up thinking, and just keep repeating whatever you're already familiar with. Whenever you have such thoughts, just look at the people and things around you. Some people work hard all day so that their families can have a hot meal on the table at night. Some people travel all over the world in order to create art that resonates with all of Tavat. Some venture in search of the world's secrets to prevent rapidly approaching, yet still unknown, world-shattering catastrophes. Life is not just about yourself. Each and every one of your actions shapes you and the world around you. <sighs> Look... Friends and family will remember what you've done, and even some people you've never met may benefit from your actions. Therefore, oh, true. many people will strive forward to forge new paths, even if they have to endure great pain to do so. Once you begin your journey on that same difficult yet rewarding path, you'll come to know the answers to those big existential questions, yet they will no longer feel as life-defining as they did before. But if you were to believe that life is nothing but an empty, ephemeral dream, then that's also the only thing it will ever become. You are free to choose how you want to live your lives, but as your Archon, I should first make this information known to everyone. In the end, it's up to you whether you want to embrace a beautiful dream at the cost of your real life. M. Nahida said she wanted to speak with us alone. It seems like she went to the plaza in front of the academia. To Mama. Hello. Did you used to go by a different name? I, I, I apologize, but I don't recognize the name. But if I added you on, on Switch, then we must have at least played something together. 
And thank you for subscribing, Rain Lover. I don't know if you're here or if you subbed from one of my videos, but... In adventuring, as in business, <clears throat> you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. And, and sorry, I noticed your, your message earlier. I was just paying attention to the cutscene. Well... <laughs> Nahida! You're amazing, Nahida! Even Paimon was nearly won over by that scholar in that dream. Well, he's very good at manipulating the weaknesses of human nature, but perhaps he himself had fallen prisoner to them long ago. That dream was incredibly beautiful and enticing. Ordinary people couldn't see through it and easily lost themselves within it. But as long as he can still wake up, you can still move forward with your life. You've also learned a lot, Nahida. Huh? What makes you say that? You can really empathize with others now. Right! You said that you didn't understand human feelings, but we saw how considerate you were with all these people. Your speech just now really connected with everyone. You did a good job! <laughs> Thank you. I've heard a lot of sad stories along this journey. And several of them have touched my heart. You can't say that the victims of the dream really did anything wrong. And what they wanted was also not unreasonable. That's why I could understand them when they tried to resist us and protect the dream. But all of my understanding and stirred feelings probably can't even account for even 1% of the pain they've experienced. I don't think this 1% can be seen as an example of what you call empathy. You're too hard on yourself, that's for sure. Nobody is capable of having absolute empathy. <laughs> Alright. I suppose going out into the world will help my confidence grow. I've learned that emotions are nothing like knowledge, and that's why it's hard for me to put them into words sometimes. Benuni, or Mercedes, said that I had never personally felt the pain of loss. But I have a vague feeling that this isn't yep. true. It isn't. Mm. The moment I entered the dream, I felt like I was wrapped in a blanket of warm feelings. It was so warm that it felt like I had returned to the start of my life. And I didn't want to wake up anymore. Huh, did she see something in that dream too? But when I opened my eyes, Hello, the feeling was Kira? gone without a trace. If I have to make an analogy for it, I would say I can no longer see words on a piece of paper after they have been erased, but I can still see the slight indentations I'm all right. How about of yourself? the words had been written. But now that I've experienced this dream, I think I can say with confidence that I won't dwell too much on the meaning of that warmth. It's enough that Good. I can tell I was once supported by that warmth, and its existence has allowed me to get to where I am today. So true. If I dwell too much on she its feels exact it. nature, I would be putting the cart before the horse. I gave a speech to inspire my people. So if I were to fail to live up to those words myself, then that would be too embarrassing. <laughs> Sometimes it happens like that. Raider Lord Rukadavada has already shaped Nahida through her actions. Even if she has been forgotten, Nahida's mind and willpower are the proof that she once existed. Instead of telling her the truth, I should respect their decisions. Yes, hey, you should. What's with that serious look? You keep looking like there's something you want to say. Is there anything you want to tell me? Uh, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. Hey, but can't you just read your mind? Let's stretch <laughs> a little bit. A new day is about to begin. The end. So when we get her act two, that's when we get a new weekly boss and crazy stuff happens, right? <laughs> 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 
Wasn't it that way for Zhongli and and uh, Shogun? I'm pretty sure it was. We got Ace the Hot in Zhongli's, and we got uh, Shogun in Shogun's. So, did we get anything for Venti? I don't think we did. We had we got Storm Terror from the Archon quest, but like on Vent, did Venti get an act too? I actually don't know. Did Venti get an act too? Huh. I feel like he didn't. Anyway, it's dailies time. Just do our dailies. Oh, actually, no. Let me go kill. Let me go kill the uh, dendro hypostasis real quick, and then we'll do dailies while we wait for it to respawn. I wish we could force a respawn. You know, I don't know why we have to wait for it to respawn. <laughs> Oh yeah, gotcha game. <laughs> I kid mostly. I didn't expect those vines to be solid, not gonna lie. Annoying hypostasis. No cap. Speed of light. <laughs> That's hilarious. She's got a photosynthesize. She is the plant god. So true. So true. Ah, the sun is out. Our work's done for the day. Shall we take a stroll? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll go get your freaking slime condensate. <laughs> or is that not what I'm doing this time? I don't know what part of the quest I'm on right now. I've done this commission like five times already. Right next to your crops. That's so based. Fertile soil, fertile soil. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember saying, oh, I need a pyro character. No, I don't. Reportedly, is what it said in parentheses. Next. 
Fungi Buster. So what I'm curious about is where are all the hangout events for these four stars? Maybe they plan to put them put them in these uh, upcoming updates since the Archon quest is kind of, you know, come to a close for Sumeru. But supposedly we have a couple more areas that they are going to release, so... I guess we'll have to see. I'm assuming we're probably going to get something with uh, the new guy that we saw at the end of this Archon quest. What's his name? Kave? Kave. Um... Wait a downpour. Nothing will get done until it clears. And I feel like maybe Let something with Dia. Those who yesterday said I'll do it tomorrow. So I feel like Dia is going to have to become playable here soon, yeah? Maybe something with El Haytham as well. Who knows? Don't blink. The wind knows. <laughs> God, man, he's nuts. Oh, got him. Into the tape. Incoming. <laughs> Did you see that? What I said to you earlier, Damon. <laughs> Willow and I both hmm, agreed. Roommates. Done for the day. It's low-key true, though. It's so true, dog. It's so true. It's so funny. <laughs> One with nature. <laughs> Spring forward. Nowhere to hide. Hey! Wind I guess I gotta give me the Electro enemies when I'm using an Electro DPS. Huh? Huh, game? Riddle me that. Finely tuned. Follow the wind. Honestly, though, I think there's more gay ships in this game than... than... than not. Yes. Ship impact, so true. Honestly, I respect it. There's like so many. It's hilarious. And like most of them aren't even like baseless. Like most of them have like a bunch of like lore that supports that kind of stuff. It's so funny. They'll never canonically, canonically make any of the ships real, but they basically do. <laughs> yeah, that one I think is, that one's always one that I found kind of sus, but you know, whatever. Let people have their fun. I mean, it's, it's just the step bro. It's just the step bro, uh, a uh, ship bro, don't you know? What are you doing, step bro? Speed of light. Let's... 
I know they're not even step bros. They're not even like really bros, but you know, they basically are. Scatter! Don't blink! Hey! No chromo. <laughs> I like Jean DeLuke though. I like Jean DeLuke. That's I think that's my favorite DeLuke ship. Vent they ship Venti with everyone in Monster. Venti just goes with everyone apparently. I see a lot of like Venti Venti Barbara though. I get it, but I don't get it. It's probably just because, you know, she's like worships him. Like, you know, because she's a nun. But it's still, it's like... Lol. Yeah, that's, that's something I've been kind of curious about as well. Because like... Thank you for comp he obviously has a bunch of Conria... Like, stuff attached to him. But like, is he actually from Conria, or is he just a descendant of someone from Conria, or like what? Oh, he does cover up his eye though, just like the other Conrians. Who knows? So Kaya is sus as fuck. <laughs> Barbara. Okay, I did commissions, right? Okay, um... Nahida... Nahida, Nahida, Nahida... I, I think I'm gonna... I don't know what I want to put on her, to be honest. I think it would also depend on the team. Because I have a, I have an okay Gilded Dreams set for her. But... I feel like I don't want Gilded Dreams if I don't have another Dendro. So I need to basically have two artifact sets for her. And also I need to figure out what weapon I want to put on her. Like I know Sack Frags is probably one of her better options, but this is probably a really good option too. TBH. I have no five star catalysts. Nor Claymores. Which is crazy to me, considering I've played this game literally every day since it came out. But you know, it is what it is. Oh, okay, anyway, let's go beat up uh, Hypostasis again. I feel like all the regional bosses in this area just like have a long <laughs> tunnel that leads underground to like a similar looking arena. Weirdness just 
surrounding Kaya in general. Kaya is sus. I think that is undeniable. I still love that he's the cavalry captain and we don't see a single horse in the monster. <laughs> Yeah, I'm waiting for Kaya to become, like, super important. <laughs> the sus? I unfortunately don't get that joke. But I'm sure, I'm sure it's good. It's just, I'm, I don't get it. <laughs> because I don't know who... I don't really know who Mozart is. <laughs> uh, what was I doing? Waiting for the thing to respawn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I wonder if these shops have reset, because I need to get the, to get the damn shrooms. The damn shrooms. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I probably do, but I don't. He's the guy with the music. That's all about- that's all I know. Oh, I don't need more of these when I'm gonna buy them anyway. I don't have culture. I am cultureless. <laughs> so true. See, see, Damon's asking the real questions. I just thought collecting these mushrooms will not be as bad when I am using the Hita. I think, anyway. Opium. Alright, I'm assuming you've respawned. My name is Skrillex, Skrillex Remix. Wait, are you being serious? <laughs> what? I feel like I'm being trolled. Super old. Got lucky that time. Incoming. Yeah. 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 Don't blink. Good. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Skrillex went back in time to write a song with Mozart. Oh wait, no, Mozart came to the future. What? Did I not hit that? Did I not hit that with Dendro? Am I insane? Stop giving me two, I need three. Please. Fools. Oh my god, Streamlabs automated chat, lol. We don't see that very often. We got chatters today. Go make some fucking waffles. Safeway signature select. Wow, are you are you telling are you telling Streamlabs to shut up? Or Streamlabs? What Streamlabs ever do to you, Damon? What did Streamlabs bot ever do to you? <laughs> Willow's dating Streamlabs. Wow, you just insult you just told Willow's SO? To shut up, damn it. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Actually, true. True. They didn't listen to OBS. Even though I still use Streamlabs OBS, because I think Streamlabs OBS is actually better than OBS. I know that's a hot take, but... Especially for Destiny. I don't know why, but normal OBS fucking sucks with Destiny. I don't know if that's just a me problem or what. Causes like for me anyway. I have to use display capture on Destiny. I could use window capture, but I don't like window capture. Um, but I have to use display capture on both versions of OBS. And I think display capture in OBS Studio just isn't as efficient as display capture on Streamlabs OBS. I don't know why, but I have like my game always feels like it's. Well, it, I, it's not that it feels like it, it. It is always stuttering when I use normal OBS. Specifically on Destiny. <clears throat> um. Oh, things probably respawned. Also, there's a couple little things I really do like about uh, Streamlabs OBS as well. That it's just really nice. Like this, the pop-out performance me metrics is pretty nice. Um, and then 
Um, performance mode in general is pretty nice. And I like how all of the widgets, because I use Streamlabs for all my widgets and stuff, are just natively in the in OBS. Don't have to like set up web sources or anything. <clears throat> it's just more convenient. I mean, it works for what I like doing, so. Once I switched, I didn't want to go back. I still don't want to go back to normal OBS. Or I should say OBS Studio. The superior version. What am I doing? Superior version of OBS. send you yes I can I think I have too much EM <laughs> anyway I need to look at I need to look at my other uh, the other artifact set and see if I can make a set out of that as well God. You guys ready? The bait club. <laughs> Thrilling Tales, best three star in the game. Best three star in the game. Right there. Truly goaded. Truly goaded. I'm using that. I'm actually using that in this team right now. See? Lol. Okay, so where's Kale? Alright, Kale. You're gonna be the holder. You're gonna be the holder of... Deepwood. <coughs> that sounds really bad. Okay. Um, EM. Wow, those are really trash substats. Oh, but I didn't confirm. Yikes! Okay, looking a little more promising. Crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate, crit rate. Energy recharge, okay. It's not the worst. Okay, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. No! One more chance. 
Oh, this is, might be the best one I have right now, though. So I might get the full chance. God fucking damn it! This game's trash, dog. I didn't lock this one. I mean, I know those two aren't great, but it has crit rate. Okay, crit damage. Okay, attack percent. This is not defense. Crit rate. Yeah. Crit rate. Crit rate. Okay, attack percent. Crit rate. I said crit rate. You can hear me, game. I know you can. All right, ready? Crit rate. Oh! Okay, crit rate. All right. Oh, pain. Pain and misery. It'll have to do for now. It's Soviet Russia. I'm actually really excited. Krishnaznaya for story reasons and just seeing the region. I'm really excited for Fontaine. I'm excited for all the regions. I just love exploring. Damn. Crit rate. ER, okay, okay. This feels like deja vu. EM, okay, good. EM crit damage, EM crit damage, EM crit damage. But I actually want more crit damage. Okay. Crit damage. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. Crit damage. Blizz. Blizz, Hoyoverse. Crit damage. It's the worst one. The worst of the four. Why do you have to pick that one? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Crit damage. Pain. Misery. Oh. Where the fuck did this one come from? <coughs> <coughs> when I'm wasting <coughs> materials. Casually wasting materials. <laughs> Stupid filter off. Do I have one with both crit rate and crit damage on it? And EM. Okay, watch. EM. Oh shit! Honestly, that could have rolled a lot worse. Oops. But the first time I've done that, and it will not be the last. This is what impatience gets you. Absolute misery. <laughs> crit rate, crit damage. Not terrible. Not terrible. Not, not fantastic, but not terrible. However... That one's not bad either. Crit 
We're doing some artifact cleaning. <laughs> Not bad. Honestly, it's not like I need to optimize super crazily. This game, aw, oh, damn. This game doesn't have any content that really requires such crazy min-maxing. But, you know, big numbers. Come on. I don't know if this is worth anymore. Oof. When the Zhongli pillar lets you down. I've had Zhongli pillar mess up reactions and shit. It's the only unfortunate thing about Zhongli. This is freaking pillar can sometimes fuck things up. By the way, tip, if none of you knew this, if you think the monsters respawn, you can just go into the Saren teapot and then go out of the Saren teapot and and the monster will be there. No, no traversal time. Well, except to the Saren teapot. <laughs> And we won. Easy club. Three. Okay, back to Kale. Where are you? There you are. Oh yeah, so does does she just collect plants? Is that how Nahida's passive works on the E? Some harvestable items. I'm wondering if I can like grab grab like the beetles because like I noticed that you know I haven't really I got this character a long time ago and I haven't done anything with him <laughs> and you know I wanted him originally because specifically because of his voice actor but uh yeah, I haven't touched him. Also, I haven't done anything with this man either. Or how any of these characters, really. This this whole this whole top of the screen, I haven't even touched these guys. Or Chong Yun. Chong Yun was like in my first 10 pull, if I remember correctly. And I haven't used him. <laughs> I used him I used him in the Chinese beta, but I haven't used him since. I think I used him for a meme one time with with uh Chi-Chi, but... I just got her off banner, which is kind of cool. Is she even, like, good? I actually haven't looked into her at all. I haven't looked into Candace at all. Anyway, back to artifact gambling. Golly. Okay, do I do... I should probably do EM again and then go for a crit rate or crit damage circlet? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I pretend like I know what I'm doing.
Ian. Mm. <laughs> so bad. Ah! I got C4 Chi Chi pulling for for freaking the Hita. I'm mad that she's the most, the most five star on the perma banner I have. Especially when I pulled for one constellation on the Kuching banner. Makes me so sad. Oh, these are, uh, this might, this needs to be the off piece probably. <laughs> Crit rate. Right, crit net. <clears throat> Gosh, dude, why are all my artifacts so mid? I play this game too much to have such mid artifacts. There we go. Crit damage. Ready? 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 Yeah! Low roll, low roll, but you know. This copium, this copium. Certified copium moment. We're gonna. This artifact's definitely gonna be good. <laughs> Give one more chance. Stupid artifact. <laughs> Okay. Crit damage, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. Crit damage. Get the spicy two times right here. Oh. Okay. Right here, right now. Crit damage. EM. Not terrible. Not terrible. Is this the one I just rolled? I think it is. Okay. And then that will be the off piece. We need a flower. Honestly, that's not a bad one. Whip. Okay, then we need an... Yeah. Don't need it to be any specific one. Oh, I could just... I could just use the same one. There may be a better one. I have a four-star artifact on Kazuha! What the fuck am I doing? It's so mid too. It's so bad. What? I must have taken No, because it's probably his it's probably why he's four piece. I've been inting my Kazuha. But honestly, he still does huge huge damage. <laughs> he's still so good. Cosmo is just broken, dog. Okay, but honestly, I think I could just use the same goblet. 
Although I don't know if I have the crit rate to back up the crit damage that I could get with Wood Sith. Okay, where's Nahida? Wait, did I get all the artifacts on her? Okay, good. Not gonna swap them, swap between them. So if we do this and we take that. Can we get artifact sets like loadouts? Like that'd be cool, please. And yeah, what are we looking at here? Um, ooh, by switching this though, I'm going to lose a lot of EM. Is it worth at this point? Although I do have one more ascension. I have one more ascension. I think I want to get her to like 800 though, right? 800 so it goes to 1000 EM. Is that how this works? Ugh. Although I think she gets... She gets... If you max... Each point of Nahida's Elements of Mastery beyond 200 will grant 0.1% damage bonus and 0.3 crit rate to all Trichoma. So, I don't remember how this works. Well, so, as long as she's in her burst, she gets an extra 25% elemental mastery with a maximum of 250. So she will get crit rate anyway. So actually, this might not be that bad. But I feel like my EM's too low now. But once again, I do have one more ascension. I don't know how much that would increase her EM though. I don't know. I'm I'm stuck. That means I need to call for step bro. Now I gotta go kill a bunch of fungi. Hmm. So basically, this would be the set I use in a team with Kuching. And then the other one would be like something I use with, uh... With, uh, Nilu. Nilu and Traveler, because then Traveler can run, can run Deepwood, and she can run Gilded. The fungus is among us. Among us. Among us. Bro, I feel so broke. This is the first time I've been like under a thousand promo gems in so long. That freaking uh, that banner milked me dry, and not in a good way. <laughs> Someone cancel me already. Don't blink. <laughs> Nowhere to hide. Damn it. No, it was so close. Honestly, I probably should just use Nahida in this team right now. Honestly, she's probably better for lighting those things up. Nice. 
Nahida! Time to broaden the horizons again. Oh yeah, that's true. I can also get EM from one of the passives. Dude, or freaking too bad like you probably won't use these. I don't know why they make such good freaking normal attack animations when they like make the normal attack and like normal attacks not scale off of anything but like attack. <laughs> It's a certified bro moment. Oh, I need the green wings for you. I need the weed, uh, the weed wings. Oh yeah, they look perfect on her. How do these look on you for now? Eh, that's probably the best ones for you right now though. For aesthetics, yes. I'm gonna go beat up some fungus. Although I'm probably gonna be hit. Okay, maybe it's time. Maybe you need to be a different team right now. Still so many places for us oh to explore. Oh my gosh. Explore. See, that's so annoying. Like, I want to farm the hypostasis, but I also want to farm the fungi. And if I use two different teams, I need to change our artifact set every time. Also, we don't even know what our, what our stats are like with these. Oh, yeah. I think I don't even have a freaking... Damn it! Trolling myself. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm confusing myself now. Okay, so I have four set. Is this the one I kept on her? It must be. I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Um, Gilded Dreams. This is why we need artifact set loadouts. Bungie. I know this isn't Bungie. Don't cancel me. Yet. Roll into crit damage copium. Holy shit. I hate this game. I love this game, but I hate this game. It's literally, I think this is literally the only crit rate one I have. Oh, there's this one. And this one. But I see that they are trash. 
What do we like here? We are good on the EM. Okay, well, let's just try this. Yeah, my Nilu's stats are kind of trash too, so. Welcome back. Depends. Sunny days are so warm and cozy. Ah. They make me sleepy. I can't hit you. Come down. I oh, shouldn't run around as a child character or child size character anyway. Oh, here. We're not doing story stuff anymore, so. <clears throat> Much as I love this game's music. And we can play some Spotify, assuming I'm on the right playlist. This is just more good music anyway. Well. Lol, literally anything. Skip, come on, something, something not Genshin. That's still Genshin, Jesus Christ. I still cannot believe the fucking AoE on this shit. <laughs> It's still fucking Genshin. Something not Genshin. Yeah, I don't think that's Genshin. It's probably like Q2 or something. But oh, that one was a little closer to the way. Another test. Depends. Everyone hold hands. I'll probably at least uh, at least play it for the story. <laughs> for you. Get you to pack with the train of tur turn based RPG. Alright, now all we need is the Dendro Healer. Where's the Dendro Healer? Oh, you verse. <laughs> that can replace uh, Dendro Traveler. And then replace Kokomi. Someone that does more damage. I just fucked up. I just fucked up bad.
Fungi. Are they asleep or are they dead? Yeah, they're asleep. <laughs> what the fuck happened here? Why did they make these things so spread out? <laughs> Shit, better run a stamina. Stasis again. So now I gotta change the artifacts on back. <laughs> oh, the struggle. <laughs> Not real struggle. Fuck is Kali, am I blind? Yeah, that's right. I'm just crazy. I kind of want the, the little dendro buddy from the story to be a, a pet. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get Sila and uh, and Bronya. I'm not familiar with Digimon, but it wouldn't surprise me. Oh yeah, I, can, I don't even need to use a skill. He's a freaking catalyst user. I 
love these animations. <laughs> Why are you so goaded? Truly really a go at. I just said that. <laughs> Someone cancel me on the bird site. Specifically the bird site. Go at. Yeah. I not talk to you. Thank you. <laughs> two. Yes, two winner. <laughs> I'm supposed to do that first and then press E. I actually don't Nowhere know what you're supposed to do there. Incoming. Huh. It'd be kind of backwards from our typical thing, but it might be right. <laughs> Reminds me of freaking Pokemon in a couple weeks. I hope it's good, man. And then uh, God of War next week. God, I I have the never-ending ending backlog. But at least, at least I beat Bayonetta three and the Winter's DLC in Resident Evil Village. So, we're not doing too bad. Don't blink! Ah! The wind melts. Fallen leaves adorn my mouth. Commit to memory. Ah! Allow me. Cut to the chase. That's actually so convenient. <laughs> yeah, you're goaded. So goaded. Tabor in the backlog of madness. Yeah, I plan on getting Scarlet because red. <laughs> yeah. Anyone who knows me, red XW. I'm into pyro damage, so I don't got any problems here. Oh, a viewpoint. I feel like I've gotten that one before, though. It's not red, it's scarlet. Isn't... isn't pretty much everything... A little bit of red. Let's be real here. One with nature. As one with wind and cloud. Grow, grow, grow. Sharing my knowledge. Nowhere to hide. Speed of light. Okay. But that's. But you know what I mean, though. Like, pretty much, like, 66% of color 
is is at least a little bit red. Am I am I wrong? Maybe. But in theory, am I right? Maybe. Jam. Like cat jam? Dendro cube. Tired of your shit. Darmabu, I've come to bar to bargain. Oh shit. Don't blink. Let's cut to the chase. Sing it, Doctor Strange. I also have my Lego backlog. Never ends, dog. Speed of light. Good. Good. Don't blink. Hey. Damn, who thought that the uh, best character to activate that thing right now would be the, the Denger Archon? Holy shit, no way. Three, let's go! I have 12? How many do I need? Okay. I need eight more. Eight more! Oh yeah, do I have condensed? I need to spend my condensed as well. So to the best domain currently. Well, the best domain is probably still the Shimanawa's one, but you know. The second best one. But contextually. <laughs> Something kind of unfortunate. I don't know if I have enough ER.
so I don't fuck them out. I get to take some of the damage. Jesus. Let's end this now. Oops, I didn't Q on the castle. Don't blink. Hey. Cut to the chase. My castle was carrying, carrying my Kuching's damage. Cause he swirls a like more electro damage. It's gonna, a little bit though. No, he does do a lot of damage. I have a four star artifact on him, apparently. I just saw like a thousand hyper blooms. Oh, it's giving me like fucking elemental masters though. Like it knows what I'm doing. It's giving me the, the bait so I can bite onto it. Spend thousands of resin and get nothing. See right here, this is the grind of the of the Genshin player. No, we're suffering from success again. Too many mystic ores. Three that's a three, three, three. Damn it, Hoyo verse. Okay, the next two are gonna be threes, and then we'll be done, right? Right, right, copium. Copium. right or is it six am 
I need to convert some. Looks like I'm gonna have to anyway, actually. I need this. Good, good. Sucrose, you fucking slacker. Dude, I swear Sucrose's passive hardly ever procs for me. 10% my ass. I'm gonna send her to the dungeons. Three more, and I need two more of those. Cross that'll give me at least two, bruh. Such a slacker, dog. Such a slacker. God damn. I'll have an excess of Geo ones. Although, I'd we'll probably use some of those on Ito, but you know, whatever. We need, what, eight? So glad they added that. Such a good feature. Such a good feature. And do that for talent materials. Okay, now we got literally all we need is those Dendro. Dendro cube things. And we can take her to 90, baby! Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is this blanket for? Did I do something? Can't see shit. Blood. Big opener, big opener, big opener. Three, 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 three. Yes, okay. We really gotta hope for three on the next one. Please, hold your verse. Then I think that's it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. That's what we like to see. Can't wait to hunt fungi forever. I'm gonna find a fungi route.
Do -do -do. Lol. You're never... Oh, never gonna get that constellation that activated. From? Actually, well, I wouldn't say never. If they can make it so you can deactivate... I really hope that they do. To be honest. Like, I don't know why that you, you can't. Like the meat. Well, I don't know. That's like indirectly buffing Bennett, though. I don't think they want to do that. Now that I think about it. Let's do the Serenity buffing. Okay, hold on. I will be right back. Venturing, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Enough procrastinating. Let's go. Venturing, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Enough procrastinating. Let's go. Sorry about that.
Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong thing. I'm like, where the fuck's the Saren teapot? <laughs> Sad music. Oh my god, stream beats. <laughs> Give me a banger. Okay. Oh, wait, are you even affected by this? Yeah, I don't think so. What if I do that? Was that even worth? I don't even think that was worth doing. Maybe it was a little bit. Nowhere to hide. Oh. <laughs> Hello, turtle. How are you? Speed of light. Oops, I forgot I was still using Kuching. <laughs> I teleported. Big W. Did it again. Please, three. Yes! We're done. We're done. She has been ascended. Thank you for allowing me to be your companion. Just chilling? Oh, cool. Dang, I forgot how much more it takes. Yeesh. There we go. Level 90. Now we just gotta work on talents. Ugh. Oh, the patient, the patient, or the, uh, what am I even trying to say? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, where was I going? Oh, yeah. Am I not tracking the, the shrooms anymore? Come on now. I was going to say the patient waiting of the resin, but that doesn't even make sense. Out. Our work's done for the day. Oh, good old Shall we resin. Take a stroll? Good old resin. Okay. I don't need the church music playing right now. Instead, I'm, I have the sus music playing. <laughs> for real, though. Dude, how far away are these? What? Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like they're pretty hard on their stance of the resin, though. They increased it once, and that's it. I, most recent interviews are like, nope, we don't plan on increasing it any further. Which is so lame. I mean, I have so much fragile, but like at the same time, it's like, why? Why must you limit us so? So it keeps us coming every day. I feel like dailies is enough to do that though. Who wants to miss out on the primo gems? One with nature. Committed to memory. The temple of wisdom. Incoming. I don't know if I should be... I don't know if I should be killing these guys with Electro or not. 
Speed of light. I don't think I should be. <clears throat> what do I know? Chest. Oh, I grab that chest actually. Before I forget about it and never grab it. Like lamb to the small. Yo, they're playing the card game. I'm actually really looking forward to that. Committed to memory. So the way the fungi work is they drop different kinds of of their uh, spores depending on how you kill them. I just don't know exactly how it works. Not bad, as far as treasure is concerned. The spores are weird. Into the wind. I see everything. Share my knowledge. Oh, hello, Wapa Flower. Where the fuck did you come from? Committed to memory. Hold the line. Incoming. With sword from shadow. Frickin' song. Oh, certified banger. I really need to play through Persona 5 Royal because I still haven't gotten to like any of the new stuff. And now it's on PC, so now I really don't have an excuse. Did not expect you to just show up here. Where are you? Yeah, just casually dealing 18,000 damage. Belongs to ice. With my not very well built Nahida. There's up shrooms. Come here. As one with wind and cloud. Oh. Oh, hi. Uh, why do I keep pressing J? What am I doing? Wasn't I over here earlier? I think so, but I don't know yet for sure. Because right now I'm not looking too good on the promos. Nahida destroyed my currency. I managed to get Chi Chi again. C4 Chi Chi. Let's go. Everything I could ever want. Everyone hold hands. Nowhere to hide. Oh my god, I just collected all the <laughs> lotuses like unintentionally there. Don't blink. Hey. That's so sick. See, I don't know why the thing doesn't just track to those shrooms over there. I see everything. So I can just like go to areas and like spin in circles and grab stuff. Let's grab sea flowers. That's so convenient. Dude, this character is so good. Grab anything. Not anything, but so nice. Actually so nice. Damn it. 
Nice. Yeah, I've been really good at losing 50-50 lately. Oh my god, really a bot again? I love bots. Bots are so much fun. These these damn things. I hate these damn things. Oh, so it doesn't reach that far. Still pretty good though. Everyone hold hands. <laughs> I should scrap that one. Say that? Or is it shove him? Are you here to play with him? Hey! <laughs> it's just it's just no fake, David. I feel like there should be more shrooms here. Where are all the shroom people? Oh, what's going on there? Everyone hold hands. With sword comes shadow. Hey, look, we summoned more shrooms. The temple of wisdom. Stronger than I thought. Speed of light. It's not the eye Live HD HD anime wallpaper. So there's this cool program. It does cost money though. Except it costs very little money. You give, you receive. Called the wallpaper engine. You can get it on Steam. It's a very, very nice program, actually. I recommend it to everyone. And yeah, there's literally like thousands upon thousands. There's probably millions at this point of wallpapers that people have made or, you know, it's, it's really cool. It's a really nice program. Um, okay. Shrooms. Are they not tracking anymore? I really don't like it when it only does a certain amount. Even though there's so much more in the world. Like a bra moment.
See, there's one right there. What's up, shroomy fella? Do you summon your friends? No? No friends? You give, Same. You I'm just kidding. I kid. Mostly. Oh my god. Guys, I'm a Genshin player touching grass. This is unheard of. Yeah, see, here, here are all my friends. I've got Kuching, I've got Kadahar, Hazar, Kadahar, Sega to be a uh, Kokomi, Nahida. See, these are these are great friends. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is this grass you speak of? The winner is here. Hello. What a name. Yeah, I know. Grass? Unheard of. Unheard of. Grass doesn't exist. <laughs> Incoming. It's just a meme built by the internet to make us go outside. Propaganda, I say. I only know Dendro. Genshin <laughs> players don't touch grass. They touch Dendro. Mushrooms. Well, I actually need in here, huh? Oh! That's one way to, to break down the door. Huh. We're calling characters friends now? Yeah. The, the, the true friends I made along the way. This is, this is, of course, a joke. I have, I have friends. It's not IRL friends. <laughs> You're missing seven friends. How many friends am I missing? Oh, that's not the that's not the right archive. All right, we're missing Tainari, Ayato, Yao, Tartaglia, Albedo, and Klee. Actually, that's not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I really only bomb. missing six characters? So heavy. That's kind of surprising to me. The best thing about Kamisato Ayato, the best thing about him, all right, is his little sister. <laughs> All right. Shrooms, where are you? Oh. Let's solve that IRL friends problem. Into the wind. Everyone hold hands. Cut to the chase. He drinks boba religiously. True. That's true too. Honestly, kind of based. Except I don't think I've ever had boba, so I don't. Like, can I really say that's based?
Yeah, yeah. Oh, chest. Protect those. I see everything. Dang, that linking distance is far. Yeesh. Nahida, why are you broken? That's everything. On to the next. She's broken inside. <laughs> Dude, character demo and character teaser though, holy shit. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think it's only people inside Stimeru. That'd be cool if they, they did things for the... The, uh... Playable characters, though. Ow. One step back, two forward. Nowhere to hide. Bro, what? Okay, so this is here, but what do I use it on? I don't see anything nearby. Maybe I already did it? Oh, there's that. No, I already shot that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of potential of hearing this. Uh, a lot of potential on what the lines could be about hearing different characters' thoughts. Jesus Christ! Committed to memory. Incoming. to the chase. Nahida's broken. Just casually did twenty-eight thousand damage there. Just casually. Like, I didn't do anything special. And her talents are at level 4. Speed of light. And her artifacts are mid. I need more shrooms. Where are the shrooms at? Oh, I might have a key to open that, actually. Oh geez, it's 12.30. Oh, I have two keys. You give, you receive. Even an average Eula is strong, though. I mean, even a weak Zhongli is strong. Just stack HP on that man and the game becomes easy mode. Oh, really? That's a big undertaking. <laughs> There we go, I found the shrooms. Hey. One with nature. As one with wind and cloud. This a little. <laughs> I missed. Make yourselves at home. What? Ah! <laughs> Anyone dizzy? Treasure is concerned. They call me the Shroom Hunter. <laughs> the Shroom who? Oh, there's not gonna be any Invonorana. Oh, 
true. So could she grab these? Everyone hold hands. Yo. Yo. That's actually kind of sick. Okay, now the real question. Could she do other region stuff? Um, can, does anyone know where a beetle would be in Inazuma? This is the one I'm really like, curious about. A domain expansion. So true. I'm curious about the beetle. But I don't know where the beetles spawn. The beetles, like the band? I kid mostly. I really want to build the man, the myth, the legend someday. But the thing that stops me is these fuckers. And you can! Yo! Let's go. Best character in the game. Case closed. Can't beat her. OP. Got the best passives. Must pull. If you don't, if you, if you can't get her, if you can't get her, you might as well uninstall. I'm just kidding. Mostly. Uninstalling right now. <laughs> like seriously, that's so good. That's so freaking good. Like, I will never be sad about collecting freaking character materials again if I can grab them with, uh, Nahida. That's so good. Like, can I- can I grab the Naku weed? I'm sure I can. I see everything. Hmm. Yeah. What else should- what else should I test it on? Think of an annoying thing that isn't like a plant. I can't think of anything. I doubt she can grab dandelion seeds, but if she can, if she could somehow bypass the, well, maybe you'd have to hit it with animo first and then you can grab it with her. I'm really excited to see the the Hydro Archon. Okay, so first. Okay, so that doesn't work. But, does it work if I do this? I see everything. No, it does not. Dandelions are an exception. I'm trying to think. Oh, I think I know something that it will work on, though. Something that it will work on that's very convenient that it works on. Yeah. If I can find one, well. Can I pick up apples? Everyone hold hands. Okay. Yeah. True. I forget where all the freaking ballberry bushes are. 
There we go. I see everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goated. Goated character. <laughs> Strongest passive. Oh, I used to remember the days that I came over here to farm whopper flowers and slimes and ruin machines. Back when I had so much time on my hands because COVID. Kind of miss those days, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's probably a good place to stop for tonight. But uh, the Hita story chapter is pretty good. Um, I really really have been enjoying this update so far and is great um i hope i can get layla but you know i don't know if i want to snipe for a four star especially with how limited i am on primo gems at the moment but you know there'll be events and stuff but anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will hopefully be back with more Getshin and something else tomorrow or something i don't know i'll hopefully be streaming tomorrow after work though <laughs>